Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today, we are going to do something some people might call foolish, <laughs> but I'm full sending it, baby. Ball is getting two crowns, not three. Her third, uh, her attack does, it's just, yeah, I can't, I, even me, <laughs> I can't justify that. It makes no sense to up upgrade her attack, but... Uh, we are upgrading her alt, which is fantastic and is one of the few things in the game um, that actually stacks on top of each other. So ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to be showcasing Ball to the best of my ability. We're also going to be looking at her before she gets fully sent and fully made, um, and like buffed up to high hell. Uh, before we take her to 9 to, of course, 10. I do not have constellations for her, so this is about what you can expect if you're FTP. Um... I am leveling up her, her, her alt and her E. Now, her alt is what most people have leveled up because it is one of the most flashy, uh, fantastical things within Genshin Impact. Um, also, uh, again, like I said, it, Ball is the, like the, to me, what I would be okay with certain underpowered characters eventually becoming, which is with further investment, they become scaling, scale up and up and up. Uh, so there's certain characters, uh, like, like Yoimi or whatever, that like get an increase in their alt uh, in a very small way. So if we go here, yeah. So this go this increases by like three. Like what? <laughs> this increases by like three uh, when you level it up to ten. It's super not worth it. But um, there's characters like Shinsho that makes some sense actually. Like you could say, oh, but you're only leveling up by like what nine or ten or something like that. That's not that much either, Grin. Yes, but this attacks. Like four, five swords if you have constellation, all getting an increase by by ten. So it's actually fifty. It's way more. It's just like a significantly bigger jump. Uh, so so yeah, because this skill is scaled in that way. Because if any tiny increase is scaling up these swords that already hit for pretty good damage anyway. Same thing with this. Uh, so this scale is a little more more like twenty or some points, which is nice. Uh, but this only hits twice, whereas this hits so many times throughout the course of a long duration, many hits per per detonation of cast anyways shinjo is insane <laughs> uh, but ball is equally as insane and for such a long time uh, in the very beginning people thought ball was weak um uh, and some people would argue she still is because of electro not because of ball um, which i can kind of get but in terms of ball being absolutely fantastic um again ball increases a pretty huge amount just for base initial samurai cast or slash hits for a massive amount and also increases drastically with each and every level up by a huge margin but that's not it and that's the thing that i love about ball is every single time you level this up everything increases and why that's relevant is because everything within her alt feeds into you getting more alts or more damage so the fact that her base attack doesn't scale that hard so if we look at her uh, her hit combinations they only get like a, a an increase of like four or five or whatever but in total it's probably like a 20 or 30 or 19 uh increase in in jumps essentially regardless uh, it's still not as much as people may want but that is because uh, of things like this uh, re resolve stack bonus is being increased which stacks up based on how much alts or the ring is filled um, and also, resolve stacks gained uh, per energy consumed is also a huge thing, so you'll basically need to use less energy to get more uh, alt completion, which is fantastic. Uh, so that makes you be able to get into this state easier, which is awesome, or to reach the damage ceiling for your alt easier. Um, also, we have something like this, which to me, I, th I think cannot be undersold. A lot of people have been putting balls alt in the category of switch to her, cast it, and then leave. Uh, now, if you have some sort of like stupid fully sent uh, DPSs, like the best in the game, like Hu Tao and such, uh, yes, that might make some sense. Uh, but generally speaking, she can absolutely hold her hold her own. Uh, and this, uh, using your alt, not just using it really quick and then running away, but using your alt every single time you impact with your, your katana, you're generating particles, 2.5 particles, for your entire team every couple seconds. I, I don't know exactly what the second cooldown is. Did it tell you maybe? Yeah, energy can be restored this way once every second. Uh, uh, and this effect can be triggered five times throughout the skill's duration. So... Uh, you don't. You only need to play use this alt for five seconds, and it's not up for that much longer, unfortunately. Uh, it's on its duration is seven seconds, so you can use five of those seconds just to be able to attack and just to be able to get your energy. So yeah, two point one particles back uh, every second. That's a stupid amount of particles for your entire team. 
Uh, so if you want to fully send uh, your support characters and, and give them a crazy amount of DPS or critical rate, attack percent, uh, anything like that, energy, uh, elemental effect, all that kind of stuff, or elemental damage bonus, you can do that without needing to be like, oh, she don't have enough energy to recharge. She can take care of everybody and make people feel like they're on top of the world. Now, this is also why I want to level up her E. Her E is also criminally underrated, in my opinion. Uh, the initial cast of her E is relatively pointless. Uh, it's just a good bit of damage, but it's ultimately not more damage than I think actually attacking with her when you're using her katana, which is what you're going to be doing when you're using ball. But the coordinated attack is wildly lucrative. Um, in terms of it's, it's, it's up for 20 seconds, which is wild, but also it's consistently hitting things all the time. And not only that, but it also has this passive effect, which again, I think so many people undervalue, but it is your elemental burst damage bonus based on the amount of energy that your allies or ball, um, require to cast their alt. So the fact that if you have like a character that has 80 or even 60% um, energy recharge, uh, when you expend that alt, waste or spending that energy, that alt is going to get that much more damage because of ball when the eye is above head. Got to cast the E. <laughs> Um, which is good and bad and could probably be argued for having some negatives because with the with the eye above head It's going to uh, dominate the elemental reaction pool uh, because it casts every one second Which is also why people might be saying well wait this thing is not that good grin because it only deals 71 damage We just seen that Shin Cho can hit for like a hundred something. What's that about? That's because Shin Cho is on a two-second timer and ball is on a what is it? It's on a 0 0.9 second timer. It's on a one second timer Timer, a little bit less than that uh, and can just constantly keep detonating uh, in, in, a, in a crazy way but also this thing has wild wild AoE uh, so not only are you dealing like the if you're only dealing 2,000 damage which we're dealing more than that it's still hitting in a mass AoE and constantly uh, hitting every second um, so there's never going to be a time when there's not going to be that hit. And this is another thing. It's actually 20% more than what we've seen. So it's, it's actually really like pretty relevant to a Shin Cho and etc. when it attacks twice as much. So it's times two, but then because if you're playing anybody but ball, which for a lot of the time you will not be just playing ball, um, or if it is detonated, if the coordinated attack is detonated, not by ball, but by anybody else, which by the way, ball, uh, balls attack, unlike other things in the game, her E specifically, this, uh, can be detonated by any, any damage, uh, fired essentially so your ease damage goba official uh whatever you don't need to actually attack like shincho to get the swords popping off significantly better than what it looks like which now that i've leveled up it looks amazing again the only negative to this thing is that it does dominate the elemental re uh, reaction pool uh which in the future i would feel like they they fixed geo there's a decent chance small chance but it, they, it's there for them to address uh, elemental reactions like chain lightning and stuff like that and maybe make them potentially better so that if you got ball it would make it a little bit less rough same thing if you got it jungly but yeah and then the other thing that's just like the kind of the thing that makes ball pop off in a whole different way it's this this to me is like oh my god if so many other characters could have this perk i would be so happy like if if yoi mia could have like a fire variant of this i'd be fucking through the moon if uh but it was maybe not uh, energy recharge but maybe something like attack percent or crit rate or crit damage or something that would be amazing uh, because yes, this thing essentially gives you pretty, pretty cracked stats, all things considered, such as this. Uh, so right now, this is my build, by the way, um, we are, uh, we have 47, uh, a crit rate but we actually have more than that because when we use her alt uh we're gonna be getting 12 uh, bonus crit damage which is fantastic um we're also getting 160 give or take a crit damage and we have 182 energy recharge which is why we have a crazy amount of electro which by the way is what that bonus did that thing i just showed you that buffs your uh electro damage based on your energy recharge so it's just the, my favorite part of a ball this is kind of like the biggest thing this is the thing if you want to know what gets me going cr cranks me up to 10 it's when things synergize <laughs> okay when this falls into this and this ends up being good for this and everything stacks on top of each other to create a, a crazy chain of events to create an absolute well god 
uh, such as Ball. But anyways, enough gushing about the character. Um, basically, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and start running around with Ball. Uh, now, I will say this. Uh, Ball does do better when anything can be detonated with her. So, so yes, let's go fight the, um, the, this, the, the flowers because I feel like they're the kind of best quick kill bang for your buck bit of business. Now, before we get into the joy and the just serenity of the Raiden Shogun, uh, let us first switch over to my other team, uh, which is not this weird hybrid team I was trying out. <laughs> um, this one. Okay, so this is the team that I've been rocking uh, for a hot minute here. Uh, the reason why is because uh, all of them have a crazy amount of energy, so their, their alts are just going to hit that much harder because they cost so much. Um, and also, Bennett uh, just unlocks and un un unravels all of these characters that have kind of like a snapshotted ability uh, to, to pop off in this way. So anyways, but for right now, let's just use Ball. And this is what I meant by kind of having to like show you guys the rather shitty part of uh, all this. Uh, so yeah, we'll do Illusion these, shattered. we'll do this, uh, we'll do Not this, uh, just to generate particles. Uh, and then we'll do, oh, I can't use that. Okay, we'll do this. Okay, here we go. L pop it off, baby. Let's do this. Boom. Okay, we did 43,000 damage. Okay, and we're hitting for, yes, 4,000, 2,000, but then we're, we're hitting for, so, it's so fast, and we're going to be able to hopefully instance this person, hopefully when we get that ult finally 100% up, we'd be able to just solo DPS this boss. That was with nothing. Nothing. Can we wrap it up? <laughs> Please. What you guys just seen, you might be like, ah, oh, that's a little underwhelming, Grin. Man, that I had no resolve stacks or nothing. Okay, so now let's also do let's a, a run without up. Bennett, but this time let's do it with max resolve stacks. Okay, we have uh, max resolve. We're still not going to use good old Benny's uh, alt uh, on this. We're just going to try, unless it's not respawned yet, which it might not be. It is. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, we're going to use Benny uh, just to break the shield, and we're going to try to hit it again. Let's hope for the love of God that it crits. Um, also, let's do this. I'll just keep hitting them with this. Time. Come on, break already. There we go. Okay, we're just going to do one of these. There is no escape. This. Boom. Yeah, see, 65. So 45 or something to 65. That's a significant a significant jump. Uh, pretty fantastic. And in this instance, we are, please, for the love of God. Please, thank you. <laughs> we're able to kill him. I was like, come on, don't do this to me. So when we fully bring that to 10, that should be more than enough. Um, and again, uh, the, one of the things with Ball again is that her, her E's talent helps make her ult just that much better. So if you don't level up her E, her ult's going to probably be super behind damage. It's the counterattack damage that's being insane. And we're not even utilizing the ideal version of the counterattack, which is the counterattack being detonated by other things than Ball, i.e. Shen Cho, uh, uh, what do you call Shang Ling, etc. Those kind of things. Also, this is just another thing. Um, this team very rarely ever gets stopped by any sort of element because we're outputting so many different kinds of element and so much of every kind of element. Also, I should not have killed him. Shit. Because <laughs> now he's going to respawn. God damn it. Okay, let's go to the fire one. And this time, let me show you guys the difference uh, between all of that when we finally have uh, enough, so to speak. And by enough, I mean, of course, we're going to try to get um, resolve stacks with Be with Bennett. And that's the first thing we'll test. And honestly, this should be the only thing you kind of need to see. Because <laughs> it's a little bit excessive. Also, we'll do this. Also, the counterattack is uh, is detonating for how much again? 2,000. Yeah, it's about 2,000. I think it's not when it crits, though. Oh, it went away. Shine down. So the initial cast, by the way, of that is, I couldn't see it, <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> okay, let's do this one more time. Hurry up and recharge. Yeah, 2,000. Is that when it crits? I can't. Yeah, 2,000 when it crits, but it crits pretty easily. This time around, let's use Bennett's alt um, and the other thing. Also, oh yeah, we'll be able to use Shinsho's alt. Well, maybe we shouldn't, actually. Let's light it up. I don't want to use Shinsho's ability because it's gonna fuck everything up. There, is no there we go, escape. broke. Okay, this, this, Enough please crit. Oh baby, that is so good. Also, we were hitting at a base. I shouldn't kill it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> we were hitting for so we hit for 106k, um, and we had no other thing going. Nothing. 
Uh, we had we didn't have any other thing cooking essentially, so we could have had Shin Shogo, we could have sh had Shang Lingo, we could have any other two characters ever. All you need is the Raiden Shogun and and Bennett, uh, because he scales up her da her attack enough to where she can actually pack one hell of a punch. Uh, so yeah, needless to say, very nice, <laughs> very very nice. Can now wait to full send her. Also her E, again like I said, uh, maybe we just got lucky on it being a reactionary thing. Let's see. Um, but also it's generating, it's it's giving everybody else an uh, an alt buff. Now if you have certain characters that are not fully built for the alt, uh, then yeah, it's not gonna be as good. Uh, so take that into consideration. If you have a character, if you, like all your favorite characters have like zero uh, alt cost, and their alts are probably not that good. But also. Uh, it's super beneficial to have uh, have it. Also, another thing that I should should mention is Ball uh, with anybody else is wildly good, not just these people. So if I used Eula, who has a stupid high alt cost, but also is just a main DPS in her own right, and in that instance, you could use Ball as just a quick uh, way of generating particles for her, so you could get back to Eula and pop off, so you could just fully build Eula for damage and not have to worry about energy recharge at all, uh, which would be really nice. Um, also, she, uh, Eula and uh, uh, Ball are basically made for each other. Like they just seem like they synergize wildly good for each other. You know. Hurry up and get into into sequence. In fact, before before we pop off, I want to do one of these just to reapply this, 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 this. And then this, this is what happens when we fully send it. Oh, and we just attack. We just attack. We just attack. And guess what? Because we're attacking so damn much with Ball, uh, which we're going to be able to kill you in one phase. Uh, one phase. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but say if we d didn't kill him, and this is, this is hilarious, but this is the problem with Ball. The problem with Ball is is that when you fully invest in her, and when you fully build her, she does too much damage. Uh, now, why is that not good? Because Ball is kind of made, and can kind of somewhat be best used by just being a battery. So even if you didn't have uh, her, like even if you take away this, if you take away her alt, well, you, know, you need to keep a part of her alt, uh, but you took away all that stuff and all you had was a, a like, just a absolute nothingness of a character. In fact, we might even do that. Uh, what's a domain that I can actually do that that like wouldn't this one this one should be perfect okay so i this is just a test for your boy before we fully crown her which we are i think doing in this video even though this video is already wildly long basically uh i wanted to uh, we're gonna take uh this weapon off of ball before we go into here so ball is basically going to be doing virtually no damage at least she shouldn't uh we're gonna give her a weapon that is white white weapon trash absolute garbage okay now, let's use Ball as if she was just a battery. Hi, I'm just building some alt charge. I also, this whole time, Shinsho has been on a white weapon, because I did that in the Shang Ling video and never took it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, uh, just Shinlo basically, Shinsho's doing nothing. He's just basically applying a wet status. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, so now Ball's alt is functionally just uh, for a battery. So when I eventually level up to the max point, her alt is going to give me back an abundance of energy so that every other support character can basically constantly keep firing. The thing that sucks though is when you level up her alt so much, everything stacks on top of each other to get you a lot of damage, which is awesome. But then there's a problem with that. The reason why the problem is with the damage is because Ball needs to attack and connect with her katana in order to generate particles for your team uh, so there's a kind of a fundamental issue there where like if you kill the thing that you're hitting and there's nothing left then all your characters are still on cooldown now yes the way you build other characters like these characters in this game is basically with their energy recharge set anyway so they probably have a decent amount of energy recharge to where you just have to use two or three of their ease maybe one or two if that of their ease to get their thing back uh, so it's not the worst. Anyways, also, it's not like you couldn't just use their ease to, get, again, it's not that much time, but anyways, let's just say that's the thing. Here's how you would, here's how it would look if you were to use Ball and you didn't have her fully invested in, or if you only leveled up her alt, because counterattack is playing a part and all that stuff. But anyways, let's do this, boom. I would do this, 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 uh, this. Throw Gob out, uh, and real quick, this. Even though you're immune, you should be able to take damage. And also, big guy, you'll be able to hit. So again, I'm generating particles. You can't really see it because it's kind of just like hella tiny. But also, everything else, just with her enabling people, is uh, is wildly good. 
So again, Bennett's ready to go. Again, Bennett's ready to go. Uh, everybody else is ready to go. Uh, Shangling uh, is ready to go too. We're going to do this, and we're going to do this. And even though you have a shield, I'm still going to be able to connect with you, but you're going to die in time. So this was ball with nothing. Ball with the worst weapon. This is a level one weapon. Okay, put, put it away. Level one weapon, zero. So she's not doing even nearly as much damage with that. Um, but she's just playing the part as a battery, and everyone else, as long as I was able to keep attacking, uh, killed everything, or was able to get their alt back to back to back, which was awesome. But the problem is, is that Ball, uh, every, like, these guys kill, kill things just as fast. So Shangling and Xing Shou kill things just as fast, so Ball's kind of sitting there like, ah... Like, even though I'm not doing a lot of damage, now you guys are dealing damage, so you still interact with that problem. But ultimately, if you have a ball because you happen to get her, she is worth just the simple fact of leveling up her alt and using her as a battery in teams like this. Which, by the way, is one of the most flashy, fun, and excessive teams that you can possibly make in Genshin Impact, and it is a blast to do. Uh, or to run. Also, it completely shatters uh, Spiral Abyss uh, because you're doing so much different types of elemental damage. Also, you're using Vaporize and Melt, or Vaporize, sorry, and uh, and and uh, Fire and double uh, a a attack bonus with Shangling and Bennett, which is just helping Ball out. Anyways, but ladies and gentlemen, this video was already like wildly long. I didn't want to make two. We did this with Bennett or with uh, Razor, and I thought it was just overkill. <laughs> but I don't want to. Like that was basically me showing you Ball before anything <laughs> like without without any sort of like oh my god so so yeah i don't know yeah i don't want to i don't want to make a 40 minute video i know it's so intimidating <laughs> i know some of you guys are champions and watching but i i wanted to show you guys just ball on a base quote unquote an f2p ball i may call this video that like how good is ball um, or why is Ball so good, or something like that? Um, and then the next video will be us crowning her. I have any intention to crown her. I just have. I, 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 if I crown her and we do all the testing again, it's gonna be a stupidly high video, a long video. Um, and I will try to talk, not talk and ramble so much in the next one. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me. Hopefully, I do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again for your time. And uh, also, if you manage to like or share this video around, always appreciate the support, guys. Uh, I don't say it enough, uh, but thank you again. Um, and yeah, bye.